Minecraft 1.12 or the World of Color update added a bunch of wolves and different colors that you could use in your world and in your builds, which was really helpful for builders, but it did not necessarily give a bunch of new features for people that wanted to do other stuff than building. That was until Minecraft 1.13, also known as the Aquatic Update, arrived. 1.13 added tons of stuff to Minecraft and pretty much changed everything about it. It added fish, tropical fish, cod, salmon, puffer fish, made them all mobs rather than just items, it added sea turtles, dolphins, wrecked undersea ships where you could find stuff. It added Heart of the Seas, which you could use in conduits. It added tridents, which are pretty good weapons. It added bubble columns, added drowned. Basically, Minecraft 1.13 completely changed the game in a lot of ways. And a lot some people may say that it messed it up. I personally think that it really did help Minecraft a lot. Around that time, before Minecraft 1.13, Minecraft had kind of begun to die out for a while, and people weren't making as much videos, they weren't getting as much views, and then, around the time when this update came out, Minecraft started to get famous again. And this update really did help to make Minecraft popular again, and make it a really good game again, like it used to be, and it pretty much just revived Minecraft back to what it should have been and what it was before. Then, they continue with that by adding Minecraft 1.14, the Village and Pillage update, which added pillagers with crossbows, added crossbows in general, it added ravagers, it added all this stuff, it added raids, um, extra trades, it completely redid villages and villagers, and improved everything, and I'm pretty sure people were still happy about that. Then, well, Minecraft kind of made the 1.15 Buzzy Bees update, we don't talk about that one. With Buzzy Bees being a pretty small and not very amazing update, Minecraft had to retaliate with an even better one, well, much better one, and that was the Nether update. Alongside the Cave update and everything that people wanted, the Nether update was another really important update that people playing Minecraft really wanted to basically improve this entire world, this entire dimension. And that definitely occurred, and that definitely improved it, because the Nether update added piglins, it improved Nether fortresses, it added bastions, Nether gold, it added Netherite, the most powerful stuff, basically, that you can get in the game, added Basalt Deltas, which is the worst biome in the game, the Nether Warp Forest, the Warped Forest, and... Even the normal nether biome still stayed. My only problem with this update is that they turned the zombie pigmen into a zombified piglin. Which, although it's not that much different, it's still not the same. After the nether update was the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs Part 1 update. Basically, Caves and Cliffs, which is the update that people have wanted for probably a decade now, which would improve the caves and make the mountains bigger and more awesome and everything, it's basically the first part of the Caves and Cliffs update, and it didn't have very much. It had goats, and it made the peaks, like the mountains, super, super tall, but it did not increase the caves yet, because that was for part two. In part two, it added the dripstone caves, it added geodes, it added these big grassy, jungly caves that are like super rare and like hidden under the ground. I mean, that's pretty much where all caves are under the ground. And it added the axolotl and it just added a lot of stuff that people really wanted. But there was one feature that didn't get added until the next update after that, the 1.19 wild update. Quiet, please. This is the library, and I'd like some peace to read mindfully. And don't even get me started on the mob boats. Basically, a mob boat was something that Minecraft has been doing and might still be doing, but I don't know. Where basically, they'd have the community vote for around 
three mobs that could be possibly added into Minecraft, and the winner would be the only one added, while the other ones would permanently be removed. The first mob vote was back in the aquatic update, and it was between four mobs, actually. One was an underwater squid type of kraken creature that could drag you underwater. One was a sandy creature which would hide under the ground and would be able to, to disenchant any items that you threw to it, which it would basically eat the enchantment off of. The wildfire, which was a nether mob, which was basically like a more powerful version of the blaze. And the phantom, which is the one that won, which would attack you when you didn't sleep for a few days. After that, it was a mob vote between the glow squid, the isologer, and one other thing. It was like a cow with flowers on it. I know. Most of those weren't amazing, but the isologer would have been really cool. But this was when the problems began. Dream, one of the famous Minecraft YouTubers, he actually convinced the people to vote for the glow squid rather than the isologer which would have been really cool and he ended up persuading the votes and that caused the glow squid to be voted into the game and the isologer and that flower cow still cease to be in minecraft the mob vote for 2021 was between the la a little mob kind of looks like a fairy that could follow you around and hold items and find extra items and do kind of some technical stuff the glare, which could follow you around in caves and tell you where mobs could possibly spawn in the darkness. And the copper golem, which was a golem which could possibly be made out of copper and could kind of just be a little cool guy. Out of all the options, I thought that the LA would be cool, similar to what everybody else thought, because we thought that it could just go around and say collect iron or collect diamonds for us. But when the LA actually finally won the mob vote, it turns out that it could not do anything similar and it kind of left people, including me, a little cheated because we were told something and misled because we didn't have enough information about this thing. Mob vote 2022 actually looked pretty good. The sniffer was a ancient mob that you could find deep, deep under the sea. Basically, its eggs could possibly be found if you used a brush on suspicious gravel in the underwater ruined structures. This egg could be placed down and over time it'll eventually crack and open into a sniffer. Now this thing is probably one of the biggest mobs in Minecraft besides like the ender dragon or something. But basically it could go around and locate uh, ancient plants from like long ago that are extinct under the ground and basically pull up seeds of them for you to use. And although that didn't sound super, super cool, and it wasn't super, super useful for anyone who wanted, I don't know, some farm or something from it, it was still kind of cool, and the other options were even better. The rascal was this tiny guy in the caves who could sell you anything like pickaxes and probably ores and things. If you had found him, he would probably trade him to you, and that was pretty cool. And the final mob of the 2022 mob vote was the Tough Golem. And basically similar to the Copper Golem, he was this little guy made out of tough rather than copper though. But rather than just sit around or something, the Tough Golem can hold at least one of your items in its hands and you can allow it to basically become a block, a solid block that holds your items in place like a pedestal. And Minecraft hasn't really had something like that besides possibly the item frame, but even that is not the same as some sort of pedestal. Now, I voted for the Tough Golem because it sounded really cool to have some sort of pedestal that holds your diamonds or something and it like spins in the air. But of course, people voted for the Sniffer. But even all of those mob vote troubles and everything did not nail the coffin shut for all of this stuff and for the community and it turns out that the 2023 mob vote would basically it was between the crab the armadillo and the penguin the penguin would make your boats faster on ice so basically any nether highway would do like really really fast it would do even better than it normally would 
The crab was this little guy who if you killed for his crab claw, you could make something that increased your reach, like your placement reach, not your attack reach. And that was one of the problems by at least a block or so. And the final one, the armadillo, if you were to either shear it or kill it, it would drop scoots or basically like little plates of its armor. And that you could use in dog armor, wolf armor, and that would protect your like wolves a lot more from damage. The worst of these mobs was probably the penguin because although it looked cute or cool, it didn't really offer that much because the ice boats are already quick or the boats on ice are already super quick. And I mean, it would be nice if they were even faster, but it wasn't necessary and it's already pretty good. The crab though and its claw could basically allow you to place farther. And that was what people really wanted and people really wanted to have that extra reach, but that was the problem because people didn't know if it was just gonna be a longer placement reach for blocks or something else like, oh, I can attack from farther away from something or I can do blah, blah, blah. And that's what people were confused about until Mojang specifically said that it would only change your block placement range, but it was already pretty late by then and people were really angry, and that's what caused this whole mob vote revolution thing that people made up, where rather than vote for any of the mods, they were going to boycott it or not vote at all, just to get the mob vote to stop and to have them add all three mobs into the game at once. Armadillo, I voted for the armadillo because I thought that the wolf armor would be cool. Most people didn't though because they were like, oh, it's just some extra armor. It's not going to help the wolves much. They're still going to die. But I still voted for it because it was probably the best option. And I didn't really build like super big scale stuff in this game. So I didn't really have a need for the crab claw. Luckily though, for this time, the armadillo actually did win and... Dog armor is still yet to be added into the game. And now, here is where the next update happens. The final most recent update that's not even out yet. The armadillo is supposed to come out into the next update, 1.21. Now this thing, I didn't expect much from this update considering how the last ones had gone. And then they added this new feature and revealed it, and it was called the Trial Chambers. Basically, this big copper and tough structure deep underground would offer a challenge for people around mid-game who had, like, iron armor or possibly even diamond. Now, there were not, much th not many things in here that would offer, like, a super high need to go in and actually explore it, besides possibly if you wanted a bunch of copper. That was until recently, Mojang has announced a bunch of new features, and this might be one of the biggest updates in a while. There's a new type of skeleton which spawns in the swamps known as the Bog, which shoots poisonous arrows and has like mushrooms and moss growing on it and stuff. There are auto crafting blocks now, the crafter, which basically allows you to set a specific crafting recipe for it to craft items into if it gets enough specific materials to do such. This was a great feature for redstone people, creative people just in general who liked redstone and really wanted to do a bunch of crazy crafting stuff and didn't want to have to transfer items as much and craft items as much. So this was really helpful for them. One feature that Bedrock players have been wanting forever is Hardcore Mode. And that has only ever been on Java Edition, but now it is actually coming to Bedrock in the next update, or at least hopefully in the next update and doesn't get pushed away like the uh, um, bundles. Yeah, when are those things ever going to come into the game? Minecraft is also redoing all of the raids to where you have ominous bottles and ominous trial spawners and all these things. They added maces, a new type of weapon which has not been added ever since the aquatic update with the tridents. And probably one of the other, like the other biggest changes ever to Minecraft is wolves now have like eight different types now. 
not just the single wolf type, and there are other types of wolves that you can find in different biomes. There's striped wolves, spotted wolves, rusty wolves, woods, chestnut, snowy, black, ashen, and pale wolves. Oh, and I can't forget the new Breeze mob with their, um, um, Breeze balls. But you must see the point of this video. Mojang was being accused of being lazy, not adding good features to the game, having rigged mob votes, and basically having tons of accusations and horrible things thrown at them. But they kind of blew people away with this update, and they have so many new features, they're improving the game a lot, the mace is cool, the trial chambers are getting even cooler, and all in all, this update kind of fixed what they were having problems with, all of their problems. Like, there's still some things, and there's obviously some people that are still complaining about Mojang, but at least they've done some pretty good stuff with this new update, and I'm kind of actually excited for when it comes out, which I wasn't really excited for the most recent few. But anyways, this is where I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for 2,000, nearly 2,100 subs, and I'll see you later. Bye. Also, bring back Minecraft Dungeons. I'm a small village of the littlest around, but now I got a feeling I'm gonna be welling down. I'm a small village of my will, it stands proud. Go until I fit the throne, so hand me the crown.